Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Wednesday, May 6, 2015. Let's get to it. There's a short list of athletes in the sport that inspire respect from the great athletes of previous generations, and Cedric McMillan is certainly one of them with just a few weeks to go until he steps back on stage at the Arnold Brazil, one of the baddest men in bodybuilding looks to be on pace to surpass his all-time best, which is bad news for the competition. Pictures have surfaced of a super impressive looking McMillan who claims to be sitting around 270 pounds. If he shows up in Brazil at his best, there's going to be one fierce battle at the top of the lineup to see which of the sports, big dogs, packs the biggest bite. We're only days away from all the intense action that's set to take place at the New York Pro, and as we try to forecast which athlete may play the role of the dark horse candidate to swoop in under the radar and upset a favorite or two, the name Sean Clarita certainly has to be one to keep in mind. Recently, Clarita released a video detailing his long road to the stage. At last year's contest, the Giant Killer finished 13th in a loaded 212 class. But after the most productive offseason of his career, Clarita looks like he's ready to take on all comers. In the past, Clarita has never missed his mark on game day. And with his new added muscle, he could prove to be a real problem in this year's lineup. A few weeks removed from an impressive Arnold Classic performance that saw him bring in the best look of his young career, Aaron Clark still looks like he's a man on a mission. Over the weekend, Clark was spotted in the gym hammering out a little bit of chest work as he attempts to recoup and gather himself up for a strong push in the second half of the season. Clark may very well be the most improved athlete in the 212 division over the past three seasons, but he still hasn't quite managed to leap over a few high hurdles that go by the name of Lewis, Raymond, and Correa. If he can continue to add muscle to all the right places, slowly but surely, he's going to work his way into the conversation as a legitimate threat to Flex Lewis's title. You'd be hard-pressed to find an athlete in the sport who's more frustrating to watch than Lionel Baiki. As far as raw talent is concerned, Baiki is on par with any athlete in the sport. But as evidenced by his 12th place finish at the Arnold Classic, he still hasn't mastered the art of hitting home runs when it counts. Baiki released a few photos recently just weeks away from the Arnold Brazil, and he looks to have tightened up considerably over the past month or so. But until he shows up at 100%, he has a long way to go before he can silence his many critics. Every year, Jim Mangan's Pittsburgh Championships recruits the best lineup of guest posers in the business, and this year was no exception. For the second consecutive year, we saw reigning Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath, take the stage, and in typical Heath fashion, he wowed the packed house with a display of completely cartoonish-looking muscle. Although he does appear to be down in size a bit compared to what we've seen from him in the last few years, if there's one thing Phil knows how to do, it's rise to the occasion. And with the Olympia still nearly five months away, it's a good bet that once game day rolls around, King Phil will be more than ready to defend his throne. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.